Good morning, students. Mrs. Fernanda here, ready to do some more word work and some spelling for this week. We're going to first go ahead and get started with the rest of the PowerPoint that I created for this week. So, are you ready? Some more spelling possessives. Mice's cage. The mice's cage is large enough for both of them. I'm wondering what you're thinking about the word mice and the way this is. What's special about the word mice? What do we call the word mices? Do we call it a singular possessive or a plural possessive? How many mice do we have in the cage? It's a plural possessive. If you got that right, give me a thumbs up even if I can't see you. Mice is the plural for mouse. Mice is more than one mouse. Remember when we talked about when we already have a plural word, we just have to do apostrophe S to make the possessive. We've already thought about the plural and singular. Add the apostrophe and then the S. Then we have this kind of possessive. Suns, wow, I almost have to squint to look at my own screen. The sun's light is very bright. How many suns do we have in our sky, in our solar system? What do we call the word suns then? Singular possessive, one sun, and it's possessing, possessing all that light. So we have the word sun in singular, then we add apostrophe S to make sure we show, show the possessive. Nicely done. Okay, let's get some practice in. Um, let me share my whiteboard. Let's go ahead and do a little text box. Okay, the, make sure you've got your folder or your notebook and your pencil, please. And let's go ahead and write the word nations again. The, na the nation's flag flew over the fire station. Nations. So again, two syllables, open, long A, Nay, shun, which we've already not learned. And if it's one nation, we know we've got it now. We've got the singular. We can need to show possession. So we're going to do apostrophe S. Now, one thing you want to remember so you don't kind of go crazy between when do I add the apostrophe or not, you do have to have some sort of object, some sort of noun after your possessive. Right? Does that make sense? The nation's what? The girl's what? The cat's what? We need to be able to answer that question. So be careful not to overuse possessives. The nation's what? The nation's flag. Okay, let's keep going. Now we're gonna write the word permission. We're gonna split it up into syllables. That's always the best way to correctly spell a word. Per, miss, shun. Now we know that our first syllable, per, we have that er sound, we're gonna use the first er, which is er. Miss, per miss, when we have that double s, we are just gonna use ion, there, permission. Trees, hmm, this tree's branches needs trimming. This tree, how, this tree's branches. How many trees? Just one. Now, we know that what belongs to the tree, the branches. The tree's what? The tree's branches. So then we can say, okay, it is possessive, it's singular, and it's possessive. So I'm gonna add the apostrophe S. Does that make sense? Make sure that you do have some sort of noun after to make sure you're using possessive correctly because sometimes we can get a little um, overzealous in our use of possessives. The next word is through, as in he threw the ball to me or I threw away the trash. THR, got that part. It's not the through like through a tunnel. It's the through like ooh, EW. Remember when I tried to circle the EW and make it some sort of ball? Didn't work very well, but um, it's the shorter version of through. Okay, women's. The women's rowing team practices on Lake Union. So we've got the word women, what do we know about the word women? It's plural already. Now, do we have something that's following the women's what? 
Oh, the women's rowing team. So we're gonna go ahead and add apostrophe S. If I didn't have rowing teams behind there, I wouldn't wanna do the apostrophe S. Something, it needs to have something that belongs to them. Okay, ready for population? We've done this one, pop, you, lay, shun. We have four syllables all together. The first one is a closed syllable with a short O, pop, you. A vowel can be all by itself in a syllable even though consonant cannot. Lay, open syllable, and then shun, you already know, D-I-O-N. Now you're gonna, we're gonna divert a little bit and I want you to write this word independently. I want you to write the contraction for we are. We are going, oh, let me change that. We are not going to school right now. We are. Change it into we're not going to school right now. We're. We're gonna use an apostrophe again. We're gonna drop one of the letters. We, we're gonna replace the A with the apostrophe, and then we're gonna still have the RE. We are becomes we're. Now write parents, but listen carefully. His parents' new car is green. His mom and his dad both like it. So how many parents are we talking about here? Yep, we're talking about two. So first let's write parents. Pair ends. Now, what do they have? Let me think about that. Do they have something? Is it a possessive or is it just plural? The parents' new car. Ah, the parents' new car. Car is there. So we're going to use that apostrophe to make that a possessive. Our next word is working with that G-E sound at the end of a word. So the word is language. Our first syllable is lamb. It's kind of hard to hear that N-G sound. Lang-gu. Funny that the U sometimes after a G, just like it does in a, um, with a Q. And then G. If I left it there, you can kind of look at that and go, well, it doesn't look right. Languag. That's why we're going to put the, G, the E at the end. Language. Okay, we'll talk more about that another day. Okay, and the next one is windows. The windows panes were streaked from the rain. So first let's write the word window. Win, short I N, short I sound. Do, there's that O, long O sound with O W. The windows panes were streaked. This is a tough one because we're talking about panes. Some wind one window can have many panes, but it's still one window, or many windows could have many panes. In this case, I'm gonna say it's one window with many panes. So that means we've already done the singular. Let's go ahead and add apostrophe S. Got it? Okay, let me just um, give you one more, one, one more word, and that is um, island. Do you remember how to spell island? Island has a silent um, sound in it. It is actually a long I, but we have a silent S. And then we just spelled the word land, which all of you can do. L-A-N-D. Super. Okay. Make sure to pause the video anytime you feel like, what did she say? Or you need to look at the word again that you've written. Um, I'll see you for the test. Stay safe.